COVID-19 has created many challenges for basic education. Band and choir have been put on hiatus for more than a year, and music educators have been forced to find new and innovative ways of fulfilling curriculum standards. For Karis Weeb, choir and music musical theater teacher at Grant Park High School, the era of COVID-19 has been used to encourage students to create and express themselves and write their very own songs. To find out more about this, I am joined by Grant Park Choir and Musical Theatre teacher, Karis Weeb, and grade 11 student, Colin Green. Hello, Colin and Karis. It's so nice to have Hello. you here Hello. over Zoom. Mm -hmm. Nice to so, you. So, Karis, uh, I thought based, uh, we'd start out by, can you give us a brief description of how the music department works at Grant Park, numbers, and how, and how the musical theatre and choir department is structured? Yes, well, at Grant Park, we have a large performing arts department. Uh, we have a large choir, band, guitar, dance, drama. Uh, in, in, in guitar and uh, choir and band alone, we have over 160 students enrolled in this program. And it's, it's a huge uh, part of their lives. Um, uh, it, and it's offered from grade nine to grade 12 guitar and choir and band is as grade seven to, to 12 as well. So it's been a, it's been a tough year being a, uh, a creative year for, for most of us here. Mm -hmm. And so how many students were enrolled in this songwriting class? Well, this was uh, one class this year. There were, uh, I think, 17 originally enrolled in this class. And uh, we decided to, uh, the students were actually given apps. The division was kind enough to uh, buy us each student an app where uh, they could learn how to record and collaborate with other students. Uh, and they could learn how to write songs on this app. So with different instructions and criteria, they were all able to write amazing songs. I didn't realize it was going to be so, um, the quality would be so high and it would be so great. Mm, so I was really, a... really happy about it. Mm -hmm. So it sort of leads to my next question. Has songwriting always been something that uh, the Fine Arts Department at Grand Park has done, or is this something that you've had to adapt to because of the COVID-19 situation? Yeah, well, we've done um, some songwriting in the past. It's been a small component of our of our courses because guitar and, and uh, choir and singing, it kind of, uh, uh, it lends itself well together. So we've done some of that. Um, but this year, uh, it took off way more than it ever had, uh, I think because of the COVID. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm interested in the process. Uh, Karis, as the teacher, how much time did you s talk about like structure of songs? Like, did you have to go through step by step? Okay, this is verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge. Like, how did the, like, did you talk about form? How did that whole process work? Yeah, I, I think we, uh, what we did was we uh, told the students, um, first of all, they'd have to come up with, uh, with a theme. And uh, we talked about the different kinds of themes that are used in songwriting, you know, love, uh, success, history figures, money, all these different kinds of things. And they came up with the theme and then they had to come up with a chord progression. And I, grade nines or grade tens were, they had to use three chords and they were given a, a whole set of different chords. Um, grade tens had to use four and grade elevens and twelves had to use five different chords so they were given the different chord progressions they could choose from and then they wrote their lyrics and all along we shared on google meets and zoom meetings with each other what other people were coming up with and they uh, were inspired from each other and um yeah and then we said okay here's our performance date which was in the end of january and um then we all shared with each other so when you say they had to choose their own chords, like say, for example, they had three chords to choose from, was it, was it, okay, I'm going to get a little inside here. Was, was, were the three chords like C, G, and F, or was it like one, four, and five in different keys? One, four, five, more so, yeah. One, one, four, and five. Okay, so, yeah, so just a, a one chord, a four chord, a five chord in, in different keys. Hmm. Yes. It's, it's fascinating. The songs, Karis, that you sent me, one of the things I noticed is that the students were accompanying themselves or being accompanied on guitar or ukulele. One of the questions that popped to my mind is being somebody who is not a great pianist and cannot play guitar, what did, did you have any students in the class who were unable to accompany them themselves while, while they were writing songs? And how did you deal with that? 
Well, yeah, there were, of course, there were a few that I have never played an instrument in my life. But after learning about the chord progressions, you know, one, two, one, four, one, four, five, all these different progressions on the app that we had, which was uh, Soundtrap, they have these yeah. apps per year. Um, you could go into there and you can actually find the chord. You can click on it, drag it as a loop or drag it onto the, um, onto your project and it starts playing these chords. And after a while you can, um, uh, after so many bars, you can click another chord, click, paste, put it on there. And the whole app can provide an entire component for you. So you just, all you have to do is click and paste. Uh, so you must have had to have taught, like one of the things that might've must've gone along with this is just phrase structure, right? The four, eight, 16 thing, or was that something that had to be sort of dealt with in, in, in class as well? Yeah, most of them kind of knew about that already and they've already, they've been in music or choir long enough to, and you know, they've listened to other songs on the radio and listened to each other and it, it kind of came naturally for them. Hmm, it's, it's fascinating. Um, so when you graded the songs, I guess, what were some of the criteria that you used to evaluate? Like how, how did the, the judging process work for you, Karis? Uh, well, a lot of it was based on, you know, your organization, organization skills and whatever, were you, you know, did you accomplish this on time? Good. Nine out of 10 or, you know, right. whatever, um, that type of thing. Just, it was more of a process than an end product kind of thing. So, um, and I tell you, I do not like marking for music. It's just a very difficult thing to mark. So we marked yeah. on the process and students all did very well. So, yeah. Mm. Colin, I want to turn it over to you. Uh, has songwriting always been something that you've been interested in, or is was this something that was completely um, new new to you? No, not not really new. Um, I've written. I mean, obviously, grade nine, grade ten. We've also done this assignment in choir, and then I've also I wrote a song um, for a project in grade five that was also social studies related. So yeah, I've written a I've written a few in the past that gave. Mm. Me experience. Uh, I'm going to throw this question out actually to both of you. Um, songwriting is such a great way to express yourself and deal with feelings. Has this been something that has been helpful through the COVID-19 uh, process? Like uh, maybe Colin, what, what is the overall feeling of the class in regards to the project? Did, it, did you find it helpful with moving through COVID-19? Yeah, I think it's definitely helpful and kind of calming definitely to um to listen to your song to make your song to hear other people's just um and kind of being creative as well is mm. definitely helpful yeah and karis how about you did you notice like what can you give us an example of some of the things that you saw through through this process with with well, the students yeah i just noticed so many students really opened up it's like one thing to write a creative story and in, in one of your english classes or or whatever and you can really get to know your students but but even more so I find through songwriting because when you put the, the story together with the music, it's, it takes on even more of, uh, of on a personal level, right? And I think yeah. every student had, had said something about, wow, I didn't know I could actually do this in front and, and share this in front of my classmates. And um, they, were, they, were, they were pleased to do that. And I think it was a, it, uh, they allowed themselves to become vulnerable. Yeah, 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 and we're really like supportive class, so it's kind of nice to hear other people and kind of say, "Wow, like you're really good at this." Oh, that's 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 amazing. Yeah, sort of musical therapy, I guess. You know, yeah. with, without yeah. with the other students in the class. Um, Colin, was there anything about writing? Is there anything about writing songs that you find particularly fun? Like maybe choosing chords or lyrics? Uh -huh. What do you find the most I, interesting? I took thing? guitar lessons for a few years, about five years, um, in elementary school. So I definitely like the chord progressions. I like to play around with those, and then also just putting it all together and seeing how it sounds it really yeah it it sounds nice to um just combine everything that you've done and just see that it really worked out well mm, yeah uh i know you've written songs in the past is this something that you're considering like continuing to do or like in the uh, future after uh after graduating perhaps possibly i don't know i mean it's not the main thing that it's 
that I'm interested in, but there, yeah, it's definitely a possibility. Mm. Colin and Karis, this has just been so great and, and, and so in, informative. I'm, I'm going to leave it. Uh, Colin, one of the songs that I was sent was actually Colin, your song. Uh, I thought what I would do is, can you maybe set it up for us and then we'll hear it right after this? Just to yeah. set it up and tell the story. My song is about uh, Samuel de Champlain, um, who was a French uh, explorer. And so he, he was sent on a mission to found a colony in Quebec in six, the early 1600s. And um, yeah, so he came over with about 25 people and eventually set up the colony. And that's kind of the considered to be the founding of Canada. Oh, wow. He set up this colony and then it just kind of grew from there. Amazing. Colin and Karis, thanks so much. Let's hear it. This is Colin's song. <laughs> 